Good morning, sir. My name is Jolan Filima, a caregiver from Lorenzo Esamento Senior National High School, and I'm here to take in the procedures in taking vital signs. Wash your hands, prepare all the required equipment, and check the client's identification. Explain the purpose and the procedure to the client. So good morning, ma'am. My name is Jolan Fernandez Filima, your caregiver for today. So may I know your name, ma'am? Crystal May Lucente. So I'm here to take your vital sign. Is it okay, ma'am? Yes, sure. Close the door and or use a screen. Take the digital thermometer and wipe it with cotton swab from bulb towards the tube. Assist the clients to a supine or sitting position. Move clothing away from shoulder and arm. Be sure the client's axilla is dry. If it is moist, pat it dry gently before inserting the thermometer. Place the bulb thermometer in hollow of axilla at anterior and inferior with 45 degree or horizontally. Ma'am, I will put the thermometer in your axilla. Keep the arm flex across the chest, close to the side of the body. Hold the thermometer in place and wait until it beeps indicates that it is done reading. Remove the and read the thermometer at eye level. Clean the thermometer from the stem to bulb with swab. Explain the result and instruct him or her if he or she has fever or hypothermia. So ma'am, your temperature is 36.8, so it means that you don't have any fever. Dispose the equipment properly. Wash your hands. Replace all equipment in proper place. Record in the client's chart and give signature on the chart and report an abnormal reading to the senior staff. Procedures for taking the pulse and respiration. While taking the temperature, place the tip to your pointing and index fingers of, over the client's radial artery on the inside of the wrist on the thumb side. Apply on the enough pressure to radial pulse. Using watch, count to the pulse beats for a full minute. Examine the rhythm and the strength of the pulse. After counting the pulse, prepare counting the respirations by keeping your fingertips on the client's pulse. Counting respiration. Observe the rise and fall of the client's one inspiration and one expiration. Count respiration for one full minute. Examine the depth, rhythm, facial expression, cyanosis, cough, and movement. So ma'am, your pulse is 55 beats per minute and your respiration is, and is 20 breaths per minute. Record the pulse rate and respiratory rate on the client's chart and perform hand hygiene. Procedures in taking blood pressure. Wash your hands, gather all equipment, cleanse the stethoscope, airpiece and diaphragm with a spirit swab wipe. Check the client's identification. Explain the purpose and procedures to the client. Good morning ma'am. My name is Jolan Fernandez Pilima, your caregiver for today. So may I know your name ma'am? Crystal May I'm here to take your blood pressure ma'am. Is it okay with you? Yes sure. Have the clients rest at least 5 minutes before measurement. Determine the previous baseline blood pressure if available from the client's record. 
Identify factors likely interfere with accuracy of blood pressure measurement. Exercise, coffee, and smoking. Assist the clients to a comfortable position. Be sure the room is warm, quiet, and relaxing. Support the selected arm. Turn the palm upward. Remove any constructive clothing. Palpate the brachial artery. Center the calf bladder approximately 2.5 cm or 1 inch above the site where you palpated the brachial pulse. Wrap the cuff snugly around the client's arm and secure the end approximately. Check the manometer whether it is at level with the client's heart. Position the stethoscope's airpiece comfortably in your ears. Turn it slightly forward. Be sure sounds are clear, not muffled. Place the diaphragm over the client's brachial artery. Do not allow chest piece to touch cuff or cloth piece. Close the screw clamp in the bulb and inflate the cuffs to a pressure 30 nmHg above the points where the pulse had disappeared. Ma'am, your blood pressure is 120 over 90 mmHg and it means that it is within the normal range. If you must recheck the reading for any reason, allow a 1 minute interval before taking blood pressure again. Assist the client to a comfortable position. Wash your hands and record blood pressure on the client's chart. Sign on the chart, report any findings to senior staff. Now, the procedures in taking vital sign has been done.